I'm with Stuart Ashton, who is the director for Black Magic Design, Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Stuart, great to hear about Black Magic's new acquisition. Are you planning to take the same route with Fusion as you have with Da Vinci? I think it's a very exciting time for us at, at Black Magic Design because four and a half years ago when we acquired Da Vinci, um, we set off on this amazing journey um, to try and create a uh, a colour correction system that would be all encompassing and available to everybody. Um, with after, after about six or seven hundred features that we've added into that product, it's now become renowned as being one of the best um, and um, most creative tools in, in the video market. Um, I think that when you look at Fusion, it's almost like one of the best kept secrets in the industry. Um, it's very much aimed currently towards the Hollywood market um, and has been used on, on thousands of uh, Hollywood feature films. I think that what will be great is to start to look at how we can make this available now to the mass market. You know, there's some fantastic tools in there, there is some great um, sort of library of, uh, of features that that product has. And I think that for us now it's about educating our, our customer base and educating people on how that can really be integrated into their workflow. Right, do you want to share that analogy again about um, how people need to start at the same point for creativity? Yeah, I, I think that Black Magic has always had a, a philosophy that um, the barrier barrier to entry needs to be lowered. I think that, um, you know, when you look at um, in terms of um, how people are creative, um, that shouldn't be judged about how much money you have in your pocket. Um, the aim for us is to make a product that is highly featured but also affordable in price. And if, we, um, if you look at an example that if you, um, if you give everybody a piece of paper and a pencil and you tell them to draw a picture, then eventually what happens is that you get a whole series of different pictures all at a different quality and a di and, um, and, and different standard. I think that for us when we look at our products and we think to ourselves, if we can make this available to everybody, then what happens is that creativity rises to the top. You end up in a situation where every single person has access to the same tool, but what they do with the tool um, is down to their own creative ability. I think that, you know, when you look at um, colour correction, what we've seen over the last four, four and a half years is that it's become a more prominent um, pro prominent tool within within the production process. Um, you know, when we when I talk to people about say digital photography, everyone says I take a digital photograph and then I take it into an application and I, and I adjust my colours and uh, you know I make small adjustments to my images. And what we tried to educate people with colour correction was that that process should also be part of the video making um, process. Um, and what we've been able to do over the last four years, I think, has been able to make people realise the benefits of having resolved in that workflow. When you look at Ion Fusion, I think that many people don't really consider compositing to be something that they have to do. And we have to ask ourselves as a question as a manufacturer and we have to pose that question to our users as to as to why is that? Um, because with it being used on high-end feature film, that shouldn't necessarily mean that that should only be limited to those guys. You know, maybe what we can do is we can start to use some of those functions and, and features within everyday production. And we can bring it to documentary we can bring it to drama, you know, we can bring it to corporate video, we can bring it to broadcast and, and I think that you know, it's all about the education process and it's not just about creating a fantastic product. Um, as, ma as Black Magic and as a manufacturer in this industry, it's our duty to ensure that we educate you in understanding how we can increase and better your workflows. Um, Stuart, one last question. Do you want to very briefly uh, tell our viewers about some of the new products you have and if you had to highlight three products and mention one important feature for all of them, would you be able to do that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we've got some fantastic new products at IBC this year. I would say that probably the three products that are really capturing people's eyes at the moment are the new Smart View 4K. Um, it comes with our, it's, it's within our, our current Smart View range, but when you're looking into uh, a 286, sorry, it's a 2160 um, image, which does 60p with 12 gig SDI, I mean, you'll you'll be really flabbergasted at the quality, especially when you're looking at a product that's less than $2,000. You then look at things like our Smart View 16, where you're looking at um, again an Ultra HD um, multi view, um, which has a 4 up, um, a 9 up, or a 16 up view of uh, 16 inputs. And again, you're looking at extra high quality products there, which would fit perfectly into a broadcast environment. And then I suppose when you look at our cameras, um, you know we've now got PL versions of the production camera 4K and the 2.5K Black Magic Cinema camera. So anybody who's using those old vintage lenses or PL lenses can now really get the benefit out of those cameras. Excellent. Thank you so much, Stuart. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure talking to you guys.